Welcome to this Trinoff tutorial video. I'm Ashley Shepard, and I'm going to take you through a quick start guide to getting your ST2 Pro set up and running as a room optimizer using a dangerous monitor ST as the monitor controller. So uh, let's take a look at how to plug things in to begin with. So here we have the back of the dangerous monitor ST and the Trinoff. So to begin with, the main speaker left and right outputs from the Dangerous are on this output connector here. So I'm going to connect a DB25 cable to that. And I've got the first two outputs, the first two channels from that DB25 connector. I'm going to plug into the analog inputs 1 and 2 on the Trinoff. Next, I have the two cables that feed my main left and right speakers. And I'm going to plug them into the analog outputs of the Trinoff 1 and 2. So this wiring will also work with any other monitoring controller, like an Avocet or an SPL, even the control room outputs from a console like an SSL or a Neve. And you can even use the Trinoff itself as a monitoring controller and just connect the outputs of your interface or console directly to it. I still need AC power and then a network connection into my router so that I can use the Mac app to control the Trinoff over the network. Also, you can connect the HDMI output to a computer monitor and plug in a USB keyboard and mouse to control the Trinoff directly. Once you have everything plugged in, including AC power to both units, uh, you need to turn on the power on the back panel of the Trinoff and then also engage the booting switch, the power switch that's on the front of the Trinoff, to get the Trinoff computer to boot up. Okay, so once the Trinoff has had a minute or so to boot up, we can go ahead and launch the app here on the Mac. And when I launch the app, I get this, uh, this very simple interface right here. And since we're not going to use the Trinoff as a monitor controller, since we already have the dangerous monitor ST, we're not going to change any settings here. We're going to leave this at Unity Gain, and we're just going to use this to access the inner controls of the Trinoff, the optimizer settings. And we do so with this button down here in the bottom right hand corner. What this does is open screen sharing here on the Mac and connects us directly to the Trinoff itself. All right, so let's just take a look. Um, uh, here's the home page where it might default to when you first turn it on. We're not going to change anything here. This is, again, just uh, the monitor controller part of the Trinoff, and we're not using that. And I'm only going to focus on the pages that you need to get to in order to get your first measurement and, and get up and running quickly. Okay, so the first thing is to go to the presets page here. And what we're going to do here is load the built-in preset, which is essentially a factory reset of all of the settings in the Trinoff. Now, even if your Trinoff is brand new, um, it's a good idea to just load this preset, even if there are no other presets in here. Maybe there are some from somebody helping you set this up or whatnot. Um, but we want to load the built-in preset. What that also does is configure the Trinoff for stereo analog in to stereo analog out, just the way we're using it here in this example. So it's all ready to go. We don't have to do any other configuration beyond that. So next, let's go to the optimizer settings. And we go down here to the calibration tab at the bottom. This is where you actually take the measurements. So now you can see under the calibrated column, you see the word no in red. And what this means is that this measurement hasn't been taken yet. It hasn't been calibrated. So in order to do that, we need to configure it first. So let's go press the configure button. All right, so what we're concerned about here is the mic name. Each Trinoff 3D measurement microphone has its own calibration file. And that file needs to be installed on your unit in order for the measurements to be accurate. So uh, each measurement microphone has its name and serial number written on the back. And I'll show that to you in a minute. And that name needs to be in the list here. Now, if it's not, your measurement microphone came with a USB stick that'll have the name written right on it. And we can insert this into the USB port on the front of the Trinoff and install the calibration file that way. OK, so as you can see, as soon as I put, inserted the USB stick, it went into USB backup mode. And here we have a bunch of options one of which is load microphone files from USB key. So let's click that. Now you have a choice of menu uh, or of directories here, and you, you, know, you might have several directories in here for presets and other files, but you wanna choose the microphone files directory. 
and hit OK. So now any microphone profile that was on the USB stick has been loaded into the Trinoff. But in order to use them properly, you must first reboot the unit. So turn off the switch on the front panel, wait a moment, turn it back on again, wait for it to reboot, reconnect, and then we need to go back to that measurement configure page and select the right microphone. Okay, now that I've done that, I can click OK, and this measurement is ready to go. We still haven't taken the measurement yet. Um, first, we have to take a look at the microphone and get it in position. And so let me go get the mic and we can take a closer look at that right now. Okay, so here I have the Trinoff 3D measurement microphone. You can see it's uh, quite unique. It has four capsules on it. And on the bottom, there's a switch right here, a push button switch to turn the microphone on. And when you do that, there's a red LED indicator on the front that shows you that the mic is on. So if I turn it on and then on. Okay, this is important because you only turn the microphone on just before you're gonna take a measurement. And as soon as you're done, you turn it back off again. Uh, otherwise you could get feedback through your system. So that's important. Uh, on the back side right here is the name and serial number of the microphone that needs to match that microphone profile uh, inside the measurement configuration so that everything is accurate and works right. All right, so let's plug in the multi-pin cable uh, here, and then we'll take the four XLRs and plug them into the analog inputs of the Trinoff and get the mic positioned so we can take our measurement. So here I have the four outputs from the 3D microphone, and I'm gonna plug them into the four analog inputs on the Trinoff. So I'm gonna unplug the dangerous from the first two channels, and then make sure that the channels go in the correct order. One to one, two to two, three to three, four to four. Okay, uh, here we have the 3D microphone on a microphone stand, and I've positioned it directly in the center between my left and right speakers. And I have the logo and the power LED indicator facing forward, directly forward, as centered as I can possibly make it. Also, the capsules are about ear level as I'm sitting comfortably on a chair where I would normally be mixing. And the position uh, this way, back away from the console, is about the same where my ear line would be as I'm normally sitting at the console. So that's the way to position the microphone to take your first measurement. So let's go do it. Okay, so now I've got the mic set back up again, right in position. It's all plugged into the turn off. We've configured the measurement correctly. We've matched the mic name. We're ready to go. Um, the only thing to consider here now is uh, the test signal could be very loud and could hurt your speakers. So what you wanna do is go up to the top of the interface here where there's the decibel control. And what we're gonna do is turn this way down to like minus 30 dB to begin with. Uh, this is a good number to start with for most systems. And the point is here that if that test signal comes through so loud, it could damage the speakers. Also, now is a good time to double check to make sure that microphone is turned off. Uh, because we enter the calibration phase and the microphone's on, you could get feedback through the system. So you wanna be careful for that. Um, okay. For my system, minus 20 is okay, so that's where I'm going to set it. And what's going to happen here is if you don't adjust this, if you don't turn it down, the turn-off will give you a warning saying, hey, this is going to be really loud, so maybe you want to turn it down a bit. Um, and if the signal is too quiet for the microphone to get any usable information out of it, you can gradually increase. While you're hearing the signal come through the speakers, you can gradually increase the volume until the turn-off gives the okay. So it'll, it'll let you know. It's, it's really easy that way. Um, okay, so we're about ready to go here. Now, um, I'm sort of sitting in the way here. Normally, you'd want to get out of the way of the microphone to take a measurement, but I'm just going to sit here for demonstration purposes so you can uh, get an idea of how it works. All right. So here we go. I've got to turn on the microphone and press OK. Okay, now the calibration is done. It's telling me to turn the microphone off. 
Otherwise, we might get feedback through the system. I'm going to turn it off, then press OK. All right, now we have our measurement. It says yes, and it's green. So we're ready to compute using this measurement. We're going to take this measurement and compute an optimization function um, for the trend off. And all you have to do is hit the compute button. There's no settings to change here. Okay, so here we go. Now up top, you'll see this uh, gear icon up here flashing, which is just indicating that the computer is going through the process of creating optimization filters based on this measurement. And once this is done, it's going to be basically time to listen to see how good it sounds with the optimization in place. Uh, but two things to remember. After you compute a new optimization, the speakers are muted, and we're still at minus 20 dB uh, uh, for the testing. Uh, purposes. So once it's done, I'm going to unmute it and turn it back up to zero gain. Since we already have a dangerous monitor ST to control the speaker level, I'm just going to leave it at unity gain zero dB. And now we can use the uh, dangerous to control the how loud it is. So at this point, what you need to do first is disconnect all four of the analog inputs from the 3D microphone and so that you don't have any feedback or anything and then reconnect the left and right outputs from the dangerous monitor ST so that we can start listening to some material. Um, and it's best to really pick some reference material that you're very familiar with, but that's something that you didn't actually do the mixing on, or certainly not on this system. Something that you know very well, maybe a commercial releases that you would use as reference material. And uh, what you can do is, while you're listening back to all that, um, you can go to the runtime tab here, and turn the optimization filters off. So now you can go back to a fully bypass situation and hear the monitor system the way it was, and then turn the turn off optimization back on again to hear what the turn off is doing. Um, and in this way, you should be able to clearly hear the difference between the filters being um, on or the optimization off. Okay, so one last thing to do in order to save all of this is to go to the presets page. And let's enter a name for this preset. Control room one, something along those lines. And then press the save button in the preset slot that you want to save this in. And boom, now we have our preset. So if the turn off uh, is powered down and turned back on again, you can load this preset. It'll be in memory. If you don't do that, then all this measurements and uh, the optimization filters will be lost. So that's an important stage. Okay, so there you have it. Um, you've taken a measurement and created a set of optimization filters from that measurement, and now you should be able to clearly hear the difference between the trend off um, optimization being on and off, listening to your favorite reference material. Um, we're going to have more tutorials that go into greater detail on advanced configurations and all the customization that's available to you here. Uh, but for now, just enjoy. <laughs>